So this may be your first class, or maybe you've already done a few. And I hope that you are enjoying coming to your mat and spending a little bit of time on yourself. Um, I think it's amazing how just even a short section of time every day really helps um, with just focusing on what's going on for you internally, where your body's at. And you really start to become a lot more connected to what your body needs. Um, and over time, that has an amazing effect on your health and well-being. So start really listening in, start really tuning in. And every time you make the time for your practice, um, whether you do the 15 minute, 30 minute, 45, you know, a combination of all of them, um, just always um, be kind to yourself and give yourself praise for showing up and, uh, and making that special, special time available. Okay, so nice, mellow, yellow, smooth yoga today. Nothing too fiery. We're just going to be stretching through the body and really centering, reducing levels of stress and anxiety. Um, as re this is really nice to do either before bed or if you've got like a really busy day ahead. Some people like to do a smoother flow in the morning just to really feel nice and calm going into the day. So from here, make sure I don't run over because I am um, very exciting in my yoga sequence. I get <laughs> all of a sudden I look down and it's been way too long. <laughs> okay, so palms facing forward, inhale, lifting the chest, lifting the shoulders up and exhale, pull them back and all the way down. So here, from here we're just going to shut the eyes and just focus on the breath. Observing the breath, not doing anything else. And you can notice if the breath is deep or shallow or quick or slow. So you might want you to start consciously lengthening the breaths, making the inhalations longer and deeper. And then slowly releasing that breath. And this is going to be the metronome for your whole practice today, this lovely slow breath. Open the eyes, take two more breaths. Inhale, raising the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen, bend the knees, flatten the back. Exhale, step that right leg all the way back, drop it down. Inhale, raising the arms up, press that right hip forward and lean the shoulders back. If it feels sore on the kneecap, feel free to pop um, a cushion underneath. Or you can double up the mat through the side. Exhale, bringing the hands down, pulling that left foot back. And then from here, we bring the hands underneath the shoulders and then walk them forward a foot. Lean your body forward. We tilt the pelvis slightly towards the ground and then slowly lower down. Inhaling up dog as we gently pull through, straightening the arms. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then three deep breaths here in your down dog.
and then slowly lowering the knees down. Put that right foot forward. So I'll just show you how to double up the mat if you feel like you want to. Roll that in. Inhale, raising the arms up. And now that left hip to come forward, lean your body back. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale, step to the front. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, raising the arms up. Exhale, falling down again. Hinging from the hips. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, put the left leg all the way back. Drop it down. Inhale, raise the arms up. Good. Two more breaths here. Exhale, bringing the hands down. Inhale, bring that right foot back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Any nice slow breaths that you started with. Slowly dropping the knees down. Left foot comes forward. Inhale, raising the arms up. And now that right hip to travel forward and lean your body back. Exhale, bring the hands down either side, push into that front heel and bring that right foot to the front. Exhale, fold. From here, just hold on to the opposite elbow and gently sway side to side. Deep breaths. Slowly release and slowly uncurl all the way. You're going to roll those shoulders back at the top, just reset. Now I'm going to step that left leg back. Back foot's 45 degrees and there's about a shoulder and a half between my feet in terms of uh, distance. You're going to swivel your hips to face the front, pull the kneecap up on the front leg. Inhale, lifting the chest. Exhale, folding forward. If you feel a bit wobbly here, you can hold on to something or put a chair by your side. And give that a stretch all the way down the back of that front leg. Relax the head, there's two more breaths there. Inhale, slowly coming up. And we're going to turn that back foot, left foot turn it out, straighten the legs. This time turn the hips to face the side for triangle pose. So your left hand can go on the hip, right hand just slides down the leg. A nice stretch through the side of the body. From here, inhale, lifting the chest as much as you can. So you can see from this kind of more crouch position, I'm trying to lengthen the distance between my ribs and my hips. A nice long torso. If you want to, you can raise the arm up. 
and you want to be a bit more intense you just lower the, leg, the um, bottom hand down the leg those nice deep breaths any discomfort through the neck you can just look down together, inhale, raising the body up and then lean over the back leg, just counter posture, just take a couple of breaths there. Inhale, coming up, same time on the other side, stepping the feet to the front, ah, the leg steps back, swivel the hips, inhale, lifting up, exhale, forward fold, slowly coming up. Again, turn that back foot out so it's parallel to the back of the mat. Straightening the legs. And then from here, hips gonna face the side and slowly coming down. So I always like to imagine a pane of glass behind me, a pane of glass in front. And then it's like I'm just keeping my body on the lateral slide as I go down. From here, I'm rolling the back hip up ribs rolling back, raising the arm up. Exhale, slowly bringing it down gaze down, inhale, lifting up, just leaning backwards, and then stepping the feet to the front, yay, yeah, that's nice, inhale, raising the arms up, exhale, forward fold, down we go, inhale, lift and lengthen, Exhale, just again, folding down here, take the hands behind and give your leg a little squeeze. Maybe if you're not so deep in the fold, you might want to just interlace the fingers. Or maybe you reach for the forearms or reaching for the elbows. Once you've got hold of a grip on your arms, you just try to straighten the legs as best you can or as, just so it feels good. You don't want to go to your full um, little maximum range of motion. Go for that 80% so you can feel that you could go a little bit deeper if you wanted to. That's optimal. So that's when the muscles are going to feel that stretch, but they're also going to be able to relax and give a bit more into it. They're not going to be worried about injury of any kind. Deep in the breath there, and as you breathe, imagine the head like a bowling ball weighted down towards the floor. And then inhale, release, hands to the shins, looking forward. Exhale, bring the hands down to the floor, slowly stepping all the way back. Knees down to the floor, lower the body down to the floor. Pull the hands back. Inhale, straighten for up dog and just looking up. With anything on the lower back, you just lift the hips a little bit more away from the floor. And 
And then lifting up. Hips go back towards your heels. Nice deep breaths there. Deep breaths in child's pose. I like to put my knees wide here, it feels more comfortable for me. But you can also have your knees a bit closer together. But if you find that you're kind of here and it's difficult for your head to reach the floor, you can put some pillows here or blocks, yoga blocks, or you can stack. And just find something for your head to rest on. You want to feel comfortable. Slowly come around to seated, and we're just going to take Shavasana for our last minute. So, feet out, slowly have a lie down on your back, toes going to drop out, and then hands on the floor, palms facing up. And just take this moment just to relax your whole body. Relax your legs, let your feet drop out. Relax your glutes, feel your belly soft. Feel your lower back just releasing down into the floor. soft, your chest open, stretch and then slowly coming up all the way and then inhale raising the arms up into your chest center thank you so much well done i hope you feel really calm and centered and i wish you a lovely day